name is Sharon. Like I mentioned before, cancer took my life away when I was 18. It was a painful battle that I lost when I succumbed to the disease. I was born to loving parents and an elder brother, Derek, in 1989. My mom gave birth to my younger brother, James, five years later. When I was 10, my parents divorced. I chose to live with my dad and James. Growing up, I found solace in writing journals, drawing, and creating manga characters to unleash my creativity and express myself. I also posted my works on DeviantArt, GeoCities, and Live Journal websites so I could communicate with my friends and fellow manga fans. So this is the website on DeviantArt where she posts her artworks and uh, also her journal. And uh, basically, it's uh, where most of her friends in art that she would usually interact and socialize with actually. Since my mom and I were part most of my adolescent years, she didn't get to know much about me. It was through my writings that she finally got a peek of my teenage life. It's only then I realized I get a uh, short glimpse of her life when she was with her father. And there was a time when Derek told me, Mom, do you really know your children? Do you really know us? As a mother, do you really know each and every one of your child? Do you really understand us? And I, I realized that in a way I have failed as a mother. I am so busy fighting my ex-husband, fighting f for them to come back, to stay with me. But I didn't really find time to really get to know them and, and truly, fully understand them. And it's only through the journal that I have given a second chance to get to know her. I'm really very glad that she writes and she's such an avid writer. Besides writing and drawing, I also immersed myself in cosplay. I called myself Shironu. Shiro means white in Japanese, and to me, white represents calmness and purity, which I had hoped to master in life. My brother Derek, also known as Blade, is a key player in the cosplay world. So I was pretty happy that she did join cosplay. You can make new friends, you can meet more people, you know, socialize, broaden your perspective a bit, mix with people who have the similar interests. She was very happy there. Derek and I shared a dynamic brother-sister relationship. This is what I wrote about him. Blade and I, we often fought and sometimes he would be really mean to me and hurt my feelings. He was a bully, but yet I loved him and I would forgive him. We became friends again after our fights, my brother and I. After all, he was my brother and we were family. She cared a lot. She was a very caring person. Although we had dis disputes and disagreements, but I guess as we get older, we start to appreciate each other more. I tried very hard to be a peacemaker amidst all the chaos in my life. Sharon was more of a compassionate person. She kept trying to make things even out. She... She's basically the peacemaker. She wants everyone to be happy. She's trying to maintain the peace between my family, between her friends. In my diary entitled Tainted, I explained why I chose to live with my dad after my parents divorced. When my mother filed for divorce, she wanted all three of us to come back to stay with her as she had found a secure job. I had waited thoroughly and knew that my father needed me more than my mother. I could not desert him and was afraid of what he was capable of doing. I did not dare think what path of rampage or rage my father would take should I leave him too. I knew my mother was a more forgiving and understanding person and would not hold a grudge against me for my decision. Derek had accused me of being selfish and self-centered, going after the material comfort that my father offered, but it was far from the truth. Again, when the question where my elder son asked me, Mom, do you really know Sharon? And that really makes me, it, it, it took, it hit me right in the nail and says that, Hey, do we really know my children, our children? It's a message out across to parents that you fight and you go for divorce. Do you fight for yourself or do you fight for your children? Because in her mem in her journal she wrote many times and she says that, you know, why are my parents fighting? Do they listen to us or not? It wasn't easy to go through the pains and challenges I faced in my life. But writing, drawing and cosplaying helped ease my pains tremendously. 
and I found consolation in knowing that my works continue to affect others, help them to cope with their own pains through self-expression. So even though I no longer live on earth, I hope to keep inspiring others in my own way. My brother Derek is helping me to maintain my websites, and soon, people will be able to read about me through my mom's book. When this idea was booted to me, booted to me to write this book, right? It was to help me to grieve. I was trying to, I was grieving over her. I do not know how. And when I read the journal every day, or when I touch her things or go through her things, I will cry. Then the friend suggested to me and said that, you know, why don't you write it out? When you write it out, you would go through and you read and you get to know better. It would help you to overcome your, your loss, you see. And in a way also, it would help me to understand her better and to go through her life, the patches of the part of the life that was missing from the jigsaw puzzle. It gives me glimpse here and there because initially to, for me to go through her things was very difficult. Even to go through her toys or things to put away, it hurts to lose somebody, you see. But by having to write a book, I have to go through every one of her journals and every one of her books to read and understand. So when I started to, to in the first place was to write to help myself to grieve over and I start to put it in, I realized that, hey, this story is not just to help me. This story should be writing out to help others. Next time, I'll tell you more about how I fought to my last breath and my goodbye to the world.